Okay, guys. Taven here at the Quirky Lotus. And Tammy. Um, it is Saturday. So we, once again, uh, did not make it to Friday's video. We're not going to apologize because we are working on self-love ourselves. So we're going to say it was meant to be to do the raffle on uh, today. Yep. So uh, at the end of the video, we will do the raffle. We don't really have anything planned. It is super late. We've been absolutely crazy, which we are grateful for. It's a good situation to have. So we're yes. super grateful uh, for everyone who's showing up. Um, we did want to mention something. Uh, we got told today that our Facebook events for the classes are posting as free. We apologize for that. Um, the classes are not typically free. They, they do run um, 10 to $20. Um, we try not to charge too much for it, but... Um, There's a lot of materials because yeah. it's usually a lot of handouts. Yeah. So, so um, we do try to keep them affordable, but we apologize for those of you. I think we had some people that showed up, um, and there was a little bit of confusion. So we apologize for that. Um, we're going to look into it. it. We think it's because we didn't post the ticket link where Facebook had it. There's some... Anyway, we're learning. We're growing. I apologize um, for that. So... Um, uh, the tarot class is coming up February 7th. 7th. It is $20. Um, there are still a couple of seats left. Um, and we will dig into a large amount of information. So, um, but again, we just wanted to say we're sorry for uh, any miscommunication on our part with that. Um, mm, I can't think. Words are hard. Words aren't hard. I just can't think. Um, Words are hard. Words are hard. I have talked. All day long. Tammy has taught, Tammy taught a ritual magic class today. So thank you for everybody who came out for that. Yes, it was thank you. super cool. We, um, were, we were quite crowded. So thank they you. They manifested snow. That was a thing. That was Not my fault. So, so <laughs> let's, let's explore this story of manifestation, right? Because right now I've had a lot of readings this past week, and a lot of them – correlate with some sort of manifesting, right? So universally, I think it's coming into play. Instant manifestation, our words having power, we're getting out of some palindrome dates, there's lots of manifestation with that. Um, so spell casting can be as simple as someone leading a class. And yelling, I want snow. So I hear this yelling from the back of the shop, right? And I'm giggling because about five, if that, minutes later in Spartanburg, South Carolina, where there's not usually a lot of snow, there starts snowing, right? We had, it, it, it was it was snow, snowflakes, didn't stick, it's too warm, you know. So I interrupt her class. I come yes. back here and say, I'm going to need y'all to pause for a minute so everybody can see those manifestation powers. I get it. Some people are going to say, that's a coincidence. You know, and maybe I choose to believe it's manifestation because I choose to wear those fluffy bunny glasses <laughs> with pride and say, ha, oh, they manifested. No. <laughs> I'm sorry for the technical <laughs> a little bit of snow, but evidently it snowed today. So, um, we, you know, it didn't I stay. did not know it was going to. I had not checked the weather. I had not heard that it was going to snow. Yeah, so we... We're talking about ritual magic and spell casting and just very much the basics of it and talking about, you know, cause and effect. So like weather magic, you know, somebody mm -hmm. can say, I want snow here. Well, that's usually somewhere else that's going to cause a weather issue that yeah. people don't want. Right. And so I yelled, I want snow. Ta -da! <laughs> it was very interesting. <laughs> I mean, and, and moments like that, you know, no matter how deep you get into spellcasting, no matter how deep you get into magic, moments like that, they're powerful. Yeah. You know, like they remind you of that manifesting and the fact that I'm getting teary eyed. Like, it's like, uh, like, it's, it's a powerful reminder of how really divine and magical we really can be you know we um, are divine beings absolutely we are made of so much stardust and so much magic you know we squish it down and try to fit it in a meat suit and we try to 
make it make logical sense and we connect the dots and blah, 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 and all that other stuff. But at the end of the day, those small moments really carry a lot of power, you know. It, and it kind of does because in our normal, mundane, everyday lives, the magic gets lost in those mm. meat soups. So true. That's it so really true. does. And so things like that, it, it, it helps bring that back out. Yeah, that playful kind of space. Yeah. I like it. little dusting of snow to remind us that we are powerful manifestors. So, super cool day for us. It's been a busy week. It's been a, a, a really busy week. Um, we're grateful for it. Um, yes. But our meat suits are tired. Yes. So, um, all right. Um, that's it. You know what? The gist of it is don't forget that you are a divine ass being. And you have so much power. How is that? Yeah. You are a divine ass being. You are a divine <laughs> ass being. That's my wisdom. Mic drop, I'm done. No, I'm just, um, but um, the, see, in all seriousness, you, you really are. We each have such divinity, and we tap into it. And if each person taps into their layer of divinity, man, the world that we could just manifest all around us. Yeah. Power in that. You're a divine ass being. Don't forget it. Great. We are going to do, we're going to, we're, are we going to, we're going to, I don't know what we're doing. I'm stuck on stupid for a minute. Um, are we doing well, you figure out what we're doing. I want to say a huge thank you for all of our customers that have stuck with us through the move mm -hmm. and have stuck with us all this time. You know, our business is doing well, and we are incredibly grateful Absolutely. to all of you, um, down to the people that come and just hang out with us, to the people that spend money. It takes all of you to grow this community, to grow this business, to grow, to grow our crazy lives. And we're, we're appreciative and we love you. In the middle of the pandemic and we were able to move, we were able to stay open. We we're able to keep the lights on. We're not having to come out of pocket. Our kids and our families still get taken care of because <laughs> you guys are supporting the shop. You have no idea how much gratitude we send out, you know, for that. There, there's power in that. So, yes, absolutely. Many thank yous. Um, we, uh, let's run through a couple of things. So we have uh, Quirky Fest coming yes. up. Um, we have day passes available and we have camping passes. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to us and let us know. If you want to volunteer, ooh, that one, prosperity. Oh. Um, so, um, if you want to volunteer for a class or for any other kind of volunteer work, reach out to us. We are open to that. Um, we have flyers at the shop. If you want to help us spread the word, we absolutely. would appreciate that. Yeah, word of mouth. And oh my gosh, how crazy is the word of mouth? Like, so many people are coming in here saying, oh, well, this group told me about it or this friend told me about it. We had a lady that heard about us in another metaphysical shop in Hendersonville. Mm -hmm. Somebody that was there told her about mm -hmm. us. Um, Haven has somebody interested in a session all the way out of Myrtle Beach. Mm -hmm. We've no clue how they heard about us. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's amazing and it's it's good. It, it makes us feel good that people are talking about the shop, that people are enjoying the products and the the services that we that we offer. Big Farm Arts House, somebody comes in and they're like, "I'm just coming in to sit down." Okay, cool. Yep. Come in and sit down. Yep. Have a seat. Take a breath. Like, that makes us feel like, you know, mm -hmm. there's a deeper reason why we're in here. And that, honestly, can make all the difference for yes. us. So, thankful for that. Don't forget to look up Quirky Fest. We are doing a uh, market day. Is it yeah, Envolt is February the 6th. 6th. Yeah, because the tarot class is yeah, the yeah, next yeah. day. Yep. So, February 6th is um, Envolt market day. We're going to have some vendors in the back room. It's, it's going to be a good day. So, come out, hang out with us. Bring your plants. Yeah, bring, bring your, your plants. plants. Our, we plant have a plant guru, guru. our little plant guru grower, he will be here, and he will uh, repot them, make sure they're healthy. He has some super tips. He has some really cool organic products coming in. So you don't want to miss out on that asset. You just don't. Um, so uh, we're super excited. Let's draw a card, and then we're going to do the raffle. My guides are saying, go to bed. <laughs> um, all right. So... We, here we go. I'm using the Goddess Oracle deck. All right. And we have Freya. Mm -hmm. Old. I know she's legit. 
put aside paying lists and be daring. Super powerful. Don't forget, be bold, be clear, and know that you're a divine ass queen. Now for the raffle. I wish I could drum. <laughs> <laughs> that was like half a drum roll. <laughs> All right. Nope, nope, nope. All right, that one. Oh my gosh! It's Angie. Oh, <laughs> she's like, that's good. Okay, so the ticket number is 236-9318. We've been getting people to write their name on the back of it. So, um, Angie, you won. Look at this. You knew you were going to, she manifested that. Because she's been <laughs> saying, I don't know where my tickets are. I may have won that last one. She's been <laughs> Anyway, all right, so your glasses are here. Super excited about that. That's really cool. Um, we will be doing February's raffle. I have no idea when it is, um, but it'll be out on Wednesday. We are getting uh, Tarot and Oracle cards yes. coming in. We are getting more herbs. We are so bear with us. We we you guys are amazing, and we're trying to keep stuff going in. Oh, so as you walk in, you'll see we have a little. I hate that word because I hate the holiday. We have a little heart table, right? It's not really a heart. It's a round table. It's a round table, but it's full of hearts. Anyway, so we have some stones. We're going to be putting uh, some Valentine's Day geared stuff on there. We have some wax melts and some soaps and a little shape of candies I'm super proud of. We're going to do um, some Valentine's Day boxes with crystals in them. Um, some with chocolates. Some with chocolates and some with crystals. So um, those will be in limited supply. So um, if you see one you like, if we post it and you want it, like, come get it. Because yeah. they're going to be in limited supply. Um, so once they're gone, they're gone until next year. Um, all right. Is that it? Oh. All right. We love you guys. Take some rest. Um, and we will see you soon.